Well, and yet another spat of not so shocking news out of Woke SJW Disney. It turns out that some of the guests at uh, their one of the one of their uh, many various resorts have actually been stricken with uh, experiences that can be considered traumatic and also borderline perverted too. I'll just point that out. Um, this is, you know, me personally, it's not really all that surprising, but you know, to the average Disney guest, you would think that a family-friendly type of, you know, uh, incorporation, you could say. Would, uh, this would this would be far from you know anything remotely similar to be experienced, but you know this will come as kind of a shock. But hey, what's to be expected from woke SJW, you know Jesuit Disney, you know the incorporation. I mean seriously, poor old Walt must be spinning, you know, doing spinning like a fidget spinner in his grave right now. If he were to you know if if he were to ever see what you know his company has become. But it says here in the article on Inside the Magic, warning issued for guests hoping to stay at one of Disney World's most expensive resorts, don't come here. This is posted just yesterday actually, February 10th of 2023. It says, for one moderate resort though, one guest has warned others away, sorry, warned others away after a string of alarming incidents was made known. Now what were these alarming incidents? Well, it says multiple reports from guests have come out about the uh, uh, sorry about the state that of one of Disney ro sorry Disney World's costly resorts. Disney's Port Orleans Resort consists of two elements: Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside and Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter. The former is the larger of the two, and both can be found on the Sasagula River. The river is is, now, is also how guests at this Disney Resort can take a complimentary trip down to Disney Springs. But despite its fan favorite nature and its southern charm, Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside has been called out over a series of events. Sharing their experiences on uh, to TikTok, two guests of at Port Orleans revealed what happened while they were on site at the Disney Hotel. Now, what, what happened to them? Well, let, let's see about the, uh, rather, you know, someone could call it traumatic, and also one could say it's borderline perverse, what happened, but let's see what, what happened to these two guests. It says, the user Kiki uh, revealed her traumatic experience as a guest at Port Orleans Riverside in a series of videos, the first of which uh, captioned with the warning, don't come to Port Orleans Riverside. The TikToker shared that during her trip at to Disney World uh, had become marred by an incident that saw her door be unlocked by an unknown male while she was alone in her room. Kiki told the gentleman that the room was occupied and quickly locked the door behind him. Uh, she states that the male was standing outside her door for quite some time checking his phone, his, checking his cell phone. I was about to get ready to the shower when it happened. It's been two hours with no manager in sight. Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of what, uh, you know, this also is one of the reasons, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way. This is one of the reasons why gun permits are a thing, you know, why gun licenses are a thing. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to, uh, you know, censor, you know, communist censors over at YouTube coming after me for that. But yeah, this is why gun permits are a thing. But uh, another example, this is uh, continuing on in the article, uh, it says, The Disney World guest contacted the front desk who claimed the manager was on the way, but according to Kiki, they never turned up. Another video captures the audio between the guest and a cast member at the front desk. In the video, Kiki is extremely upset and can be heard crying to a Disney World employee while detailing her experience. In a separate incident at Port Orleans, Riverside, Francis Dominic shared their experience of checking in at the Disney Hotel and only getting a room after a third attempt of being allocated one. A video captured by most stressful check-in time at Port Orleans Riverside Resort reveals that the first room they were allocated was still being turned over by housekeeping. The second room was already habited by another guest. It was on the third try that the guest was given adequate lodging. In race row, what is this, what is in the air tight sorry air right now for Disney's Port Orleans Riverside Resort? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably ask the same thing, but yeah. So first you got some little pervert, you know, some some peeping Tom essentially trying to you know. Uh, go after this, this one guest once she's like in the room alone gonna have a shower then there's the other guy it takes him three attempts just to get a decent room <laughs> yeah coming from the multi-billion dollar company because just keep in mind all these little flaws and all these little you know uh, uh, egregious errors are being you know perpetrated by a multi-billion dollar company that's kind of the sad thing but hey what is to be expected from woke sjw disney for me this is not all that shocking to the average guest it may come as a shock but as it happens more and more you read about it more and more it just almost becomes routine, sadly. You know, like I said, poor old Walt must be spinning like a fidget spinner into the grave right now. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.